Hello, Adam Rayner. This is the Vardis Tackle YouTube channel. We're at Sandhurst Lake here on the Yateley Complex, and that's Mr. Graham Rowland. And Graham, you're a Team Vardis dude from uh, from how far back? How long have you been a Vardis dude? Uh, well, Team Vardis has been going for seven years. Yes. Uh, I sort of looked, seen most of the products sort of six to eight months before the products came out. So probably getting on to eight years now. Oh mate, that means that uh, by the grey on your chin, you're an yeah. original senior I'm fellow. I'm the original the... one, yeah. I'm the original one. I, 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 I sort of seen the products, went through them, said yes and no to some of the products, uh -huh. and you know. So yeah, I've been with Aid for many, many years. And uh, in particular, we're looking at a couple of bits. There's uh, your take on the Ronnie rig, yeah. And there's another bit of kit. There's a system that you wanted to show. So I'm zooming yeah. down onto the table. Let's have a little look at this Ronnie rig first, dude. Show me, show me. Okay, um, the, the infamous uh, Ronnie rig, everyone ties them at the moment, but my take is slightly different. On The Ronnie rig is the same, which um, I use a size 4 gripper, uh, and then you use a, a quick link swivel, and then it goes, you put it through there, make sure the uh, hook goes outwards, heat shrink it down so it's nice and fish safe, this is, you end up with that component. It's nice and stiff. It works really well. It is a pop-up rig. Uh, people have started using it now with wafter rigs and things like yes. this. Um, Let's have a look at it in full mad focus. Close up, if I grab hold of that and use my paw as the uh, background there. Just completely hog the screen for a moment and it focuses. Look at that. Bomb. Beautiful looking little bit of kit. Ah, I am caught, I am caught. Uh, I've got one. <laughs> okay, uh, the difference bit I use, I use um, our downfall leader line, which is, um, it is 45 pound, but it's really supple when you get it on. Because I fish, at the moment, I'm fishing a really deep, silty estate lake. Um, and you can't use uh, you can't use chods or anything else. You have to have a you have to be able to drop the lead and you have to have a lead clip. So I use a downfall leader. Uh, it's quite long because the silt I'm fishing is obviously six foot deep. So wow. I need to go make sure that the presentation as when I do a presentation, always put two pieces of foam on it to make sure it put, lead hits of hits goes into the silt sits yes. there and it'll drop down in its own weight. So probably you've got half that length that's actually sticking out. So you've really got a four, four inch hook length that's actually uprighting. Um, pop up will just sit on top and it, a little bit will go into the, if you need to counterbalance it, just put a little bit of a putty on there and that sits it down. And it's, it, it's caught me fish all through the year. Winter, January, February, I've been catching fish when everyone else was struggling. So it's just my take. The one good thing I use about this leader line, um, I use dips. I soak them in dips before I cast them out. <laughs> I shouldn't really tell it, but it's really good. This leader line. We're talking line. edges here if from Mr. Rowland. If we soak, if you Ray soak, takes a bit of dip. Yeah, if you if you soak it in the dip, I've yeah. got about four or five of them, and I'd just leave them in the dip. They soak in there, take them out, change them over on the quick clip, cast them out, and the next the, the other one comes in, gets dried straight back in the dip. Wow. And they're rotating round and I've got, I must have probably 10 of these set up like this. And I just keep rotating them round. Some of them, I mean, I've been using the same ones now all year. So. Pretty, pretty dip. Tell us about this snare lead system. Right, well, okay. That's a, um, this is a really, I, we haven't really published it much. We've been, we've, we've had it for about four years now. To be fair, I love it. If I could use it on my water now, I'd still use it in the uh, silt, but it, it's, it's, because uh, it's because them sort of systems are banned on on my on my lake. You have to use a lead clip. Um, so yeah, basically the way it works, uh, you've got your normal lead downfall leader again. So it's lead free. Sinks really well. We do them in two and three ounce leads. So I oh, just move up so I. So there's a system there. You've got it on. You've got your. Uh, You've got your system behind. Uh, the beauty of it is a, it's safe because if you get, if you lose your, if if you get, if a rig, if a fish gets caught yes. and your and your line snaps, it pulls out and it'll pull out and it's free. All it's yes. got is a hook length. 
but the main reason for it is when a fish takes in fact this is perfect to show it if I start there if I take two inches of light if I if the fish moves two inches it's actually four inches indication yes so because yes. so it's, it's a pulley it's a pulley so yeah advantage. yeah so it, yes. it the fish moves half the half the distance to get the same indication and the other part is yes. if your clutch is set reasonably tight and it's not really slack on or I always fish quite tight as the fish moves it hits the line and then it tightens up and then it comes around and gets another punch yes so Really, a, so, yeah, so you get a bang, you get bang, a bang, and then you pick it up. By the time you've picked it up, it's job done. So it's straight That's away. That's tremendous, and that, that mechanical advantage also reduces resistance, which is how come yeah, you yeah. can it, it, pull yourself up a tree yeah, on a pulley. Yeah, it, it's, a, it's, it, it's a running rig yes. with all the advantage of an inline and uh, all the other parts as well. So, yes. yeah. Mr. Rowland, thank you very, very much indeed. That's cool stuff. Cool. And, uh, okay.